Hey guys, it's April from Good Books and Good Wine coming at you with another book haul slash stacking the shelves. And I just want to start this by saying, holy crap, it's so hot out today. I went to a graduation and like there was no place to sit. So I was just standing the whole time out in the hot sun and I'm really tired and I just want to read my book. So this is going to be a super fast haul, I hope. First book on my haul is... Girl Defective by Simone Howell and this book came in the mail with these bumper stickers that say shop local. Um, I refuse to defile my car with a bumper sticker because I want to sell it um, at some point for you know enough money to be a down payment on my next car and bumper stickers lower your car's value so however I am more than happy to tack this up on the wall in my office and then just you know pass these out I guess Girl Defective is apparently a story of a wild girl and a ghost girl of a boy who knew nothing and a boy who thought he knew everything I really don't know anything else about this. It sounds really good though from the back cover. It sounds kind of hipster, which I'm down for. And it also came with this pin, which I'm going to put on my backpack that holds all my gym clothes. And it came with this note that says, this book is far cooler than I will ever be. I hope you enjoy Justin Chanda, who is the vice president of SNS Books for Young Readers. So that's really awesome. Of Metal and Wishes by Sarah Fine. And the back cover says, prepare to read a love story like no other. That sounds really good. Um, it came in the mail as a total surprise. And I love the cover. I love that the cover features somebody who is diverse. That's awesome. I plan on reading this one really soon. The Promise by Robin Carr. I plan on donating this one really soon. Four by Veronica Roth. And this is, I believe, a bind up of the novellas that Roth wrote from Four's point of view. Um, it came with a Divergent poster, which is actually hanging up on the wall in my office. Like I climbed up on the counter and stuck it in the wall with some push pins. It also came with this cookie which I plan to eat the heck out of as soon as I am done filming this haul. From Amazon Vine I got a copy of The Shadow Hero by Jean Luen Yang and Sunny Liu. I really like Jean Luen Yang. I read Boxers and Saints, American Born Chinese, so I'm really excited for this graphic novel and just the peek at the art inside. It's full color. I'm so excited and I think this is going to be one of those rare vine books that I actually keep. Also from Amazon Vine, Green Glass House by Kate Milford. Kate Milford wrote The Bone Shaker, which is this really cool, really unique uh, middle grade book about a girl who rides a bike and is set in like the 1920s and like a medicine show comes to town, only it's like really evil, um, you know, snake oil salesman, that type of thing. It was a really good book, so I'm really excited to read Green Glass House by Milford as well. She has a real eye for uh, world building. She's very good at attention to detail. So this book seems like it's going to be awesome. And basically it is a winter book. There's a winter setting. I can't wait. Unexpectedly, Boomerang by Noelle August showed up at my house. Noelle August is a pen name for Veronica Rossi and Lauren Oberweger. I don't know who that is, but either way, I'm really excited. It's about these two people who hook up, but then they find out that they work together and their work doesn't allow people to date. So yeah, that sounds good. Yay, new adult. Unexpectedly, Rebellion by Karen Sandler. This is, I believe, the third Tankborn book. I, ha I haven't read any of the Tankborn books, but I plan on it. They all look really awesome, so we'll see. Drift by M.K. Hutchins. I recently saw this book cover on the Book Smugglers on their Books on Our Radar, so looking forward to that. I think this is going to be awesome. Um... Basically, it says there's no place for love on the shores of hell, 
and according to Sarah Beth Durst, who blurbs it, this is a fantastic adventure set in a stunning original world. Some of the best world building I've ever read. That sounds great, so we'll see how that goes. And finally, this week on my haul is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, and this is a finished copy. I've already read this book. I love it. And inside the finished copy are these awesome, well, there's this paper, but awesome end pages which have this like old school nautical scene to it and then you open up the book more and you'll see hold on a map guys I love maps in books like I love them also the pages are decal edged so that's really cool and that is my haul this week. Super short and sweet and to the point. I hope you're all having an awesome week. And guys, guess what? I turn 27 exactly a week from today on July 5th. I'm going to be old. So old. All right, let me know what's in your mailbox and we'll chat.